We're going to be joined via teams by Spongile Matrobela, Deputy Head of Scientific Services at the Itakuni Municipality, to weigh in on the independent water quality test by the Institute for Water and Water, uh, Waste Water Technology at the Durban University of Technology, flagging about six popular Durban beaches with uh, critical levels of E. coli. Very good afternoon to you and thank you for your time with us here on the SABC, Spongile. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for having me. So on the back Good of afternoon the, to the viewers out okay. there. No, thank you for your time with us. On the back of the package that just played and put together by reporter Jay Lee Paul, sir, should the public be concerned about these water quality tests conducted on the Durban beaches, given what's been unearthed? Uh, good afternoon again. The Etepini Water and Sanitation, we are doing a routine water quality monitoring of the beaches. Uh, the moment the water quality is compromised, we are informing the, paper, the public and also we are reflecting those water quality results on the website. Uh, I saw the report from the Devon uh, Institute of Technology. Uh, unfortunately, when they did the sample, they did the sampling on the 21st and we sampled those beaches earlier in the week, I think. Uh, on the night, on, uh, I can't recall the date. Uh, we, we did, uh, I think, around about the 12th. So it's literally the analysis that was done earlier in the week and the analysis done later in the week. And unfortunately, it's so difficult to compare those results. The monitoring that we did, the results were within specifications. But Virginia Airport, Glen Ashley, all those beaches, yes, the water quality is compromised there, but those are non swimming beaches. I wonder at this point whether you could speak to the challenges that the city is facing to ensure that the water quality standard is maintained in the flagged areas. Yes, I think the city is literally working very hard. We've got contractors, if you remember, we had a huge storm mm -hmm. that really depleted our infrastructure. We are already having contractors on site working on the washaways that have taken place which literally also impact you now the rivers, which eventually end up on the beaches. The water quality, once the water quality is compromised, we are informing the public. We are reassuring them that uh, we are continuing with the routine monitoring. What we did also in the last past festive season, we invited the university and we also did some collaboration with Umgeni Water and there was also Adapted River, which is taking their samples to Talbot. We, our doors are open. We are arranging also to be doing a joint sampling exercise for these affected beaches that they flagged. But just to allay the fears of the of the of the public, Virginia Airport, Glen Ashley, those are non-swimming beaches. The swimming beaches that are open, the water quality monitoring that we did on a weekly basis reflected that the water was safe. We are also showing trends with water quality to say the water quality this week, this is what, what were the ratings. And the moment the water quality is compromised, we are really, really uh, informing the public and our colleagues are closed those beaches immediately. Okay, so thank you. Up thank until you for that. samples and follow up samples are taken, yes. Okay, so thank you for that because I, I wonder at this point if you can give us any timelines in terms of the restoration um, of, of the quality of water in the affected um, beach areas and, and also, you know, how this also impacts the province in relation to tourism, particularly with perception management. Oh, yes. So I think what we've also done, we are making sure the infrastructure, more especially the pump stations that are impacting the beaches, we are making sure there is enough redundancy there. Once you've got a, a, a pump, we need to have a standby pump. The moment this one phase that is in place, we, we started that process early this year, also even during the previous festive season we are making sure there is enough redundancy. And also we identify now some of the pitches where we don't have a uh, standby generators. We've been hit hard by vandalism. Some of the generators that we had on our site are being vandalized by the city, is taking uh, measures to control that. We are trying to have additional security so that we make sure we protect our infrastructure. 
moment there are issues, public will be the first to know. The intention is really not to make anyone sick, inviting them to come and swim in water that is contaminated. Public also need to be aware the laboratory that is doing internal monitoring for the city is ISO 17025 accredited. Thank you. All right, Spongile, thank you for that update. We'll have to monitor developments um, from here into, but obviously um, just getting the latest there from the Deputy Head of Scientific Services at Etokuni Municipality, weighing on the independent water quality test by the Institute um, of, uh, for Water and Waste Water Technology at the Durban University of Technology, where they flagged about six beaches, um, popular beaches, in fact, in Durban with critical levels of E. coli.